Fluid Mechanics 2, Examples Paper 6, Question 1. In this problem, we look at the performance of a pump with known characteristics at specific values of the flow rate. For the first part, we must determine the best efficiency point. And to do this, we first note that the efficiency is defined as the work given to the flow divided by the brake horsepower provided to the pump. To find this, we extend the table, starting with the flow rate and the head and the given brake horsepower, we can find rho GHQ by multiplying Q by the head given in the table and rho and G for water. And then if we divide this by the brake horsepower, for example, for a flow rate of 0 0.0576 cubic meters per second, we divide rho HQ of 58.2 by the brake horsepower of 119 kilowatts to obtain an efficiency of 0.49. And we repeat this for all the flow rates given as shown. Next, we can plot a graph. And we do this here, and we note that a maximum occurs for a flow rate of 0.17 cubic meters per second. And this is the optimal flow rate, i.e. the flow rate at the best efficiency point. Reading off the efficiency, this occurs for eta is 0.88 or 88%. Having obtained the best efficiency point, this enables us to find the specific speed of the pump and hence ultimately determine the class of pump. The specific speed is given in the data book as ns star is n times q to the half over g to the three quarters h to the three quarters. These strange powers are specifically chosen so that it is independent of the size of the pump and just depends on the operating conditions given through the rotational speed and the flow rate, the head at which it must overcome, given by H, and the gravitational constant. For the graph given in the data book, we need the rotational speed in revolutions per second so for n is 2000, we divide this by 60 to find the revolutions per second as 33.3 .3 revolutions per second. Substituting this into the equation for the specific speed and the optimal flow rate of 0.17, and of course the head from the table of 100, we obtain that the specific speed is 0.078. From this, we can then look at the graph of specific speed against efficiency, which is shown here, where the x-axis is the specific speed and the y-axis is the efficiency. The envelope is given here and we notice for this envelope, the maximum efficiency occurs for a specific speed of 0.25. Onto this, we can now plot the specific graphs for the different classes of pump. So the radial flow pump is shown in green here, a mixed flow pump is shown in blue here, and an axial flow pump is shown in purple here. We take this value for the specific speed, 0 0.078, from the graph, and we see that this occurs when we use a radial flow pump with both a mixed flow and an axial flow pump, giving us very little efficiency. So we therefore want 
a radial flow pump. For the second part, we are asked to fit a quadratic equation for Q and use this to optimize by extrapolation the maximum possible discharge. We can take our curve for the final three points, which are flow rates of 0 0.17, 0 0.226, and 0 0.283 cubic meters per second, with the rest of the data taken from the table we found earlier. A quadratic equation is, of course, a plus bq plus cq squared, and thus a quadratic equation for the head, in terms of the flow rate, can be written in general as a plus bq plus cq squared, into which we can substitute our three points. For a flow rate of 0.17, we have a head of 100, and so 100 is a plus 0.17b plus 0.17 squared c, which can be extracted as a plus 0.17b plus 0.029c. Similarly, for a flow rate of 0.226, we have a head of 91 metres, and thus 91 is a plus 0.226b plus 0.226 squared c, which can be expanded as a plus 0.226b plus 0.051c. Finally, for a flow rate of 0.283 cubic metres per second, we have a head of 67 metres, and thus 67 is a plus 0.283b plus 0.283 squared c, or a plus 0.283b plus 0.080c. Labeling these equations as equations 1, 2, and 3, we can solve these simultaneous equations to give A is 39, B is 750, and C is minus 2300. And thus H is equal to 39 plus 750Q minus 2300Q squared. It's not required to do the equation or the question, but we can plot this as shown here, and we note that this has two solutions, one for a negative value of Q, which is clearly non-physical, and one for a positive. The general solution for a quadratic is minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A, which here gives us Q is minus 750, plus or minus the square root of 750 squared, plus 4 times 39 times 2300, all divided by 2 times 39, giving us the two solutions of 0.37 or minus 0.046 cubic meters per second. Since only a positive flow rate is sensible, the optimum flow rate here is 0.37 cubic meters per second.